Welcome to Sunny's Maths. Uh, we saw a video with the uh, theory of limits. Now we are going to do problems. And if we come across new formulas, I will explain the formulas before I could apply. So no formulas should be left out. All the formulas we should be thorough. So we start with exercise 12.1, 11th standard, NCRT limits. Problem 1. Find limit of x is tending to 3, x plus 3. I, I suggest, I always suggest only, um, we have all the steps. You have to have all the steps. Even if I miss one or two, you are going to write an exam. I should not miss it myself. But even if I happen to miss one or two, you don't miss any steps. Practice with all the steps so that in the exam you present it well and you get full mark. The presentation counts a lot, isn't it? You know it yourself. Now, limit x plus 3, x tending to 3. What I meant by saying have all the steps. Write it like this. Limit x, x tending to 3 plus limit 3, x tending to 3. This is what I meant by saying have all the steps. Limit x, x tending to 3 is 3. Plus, what is limit 3 when x tends to 3? I have already told you in the previous video that is also 3. So, what is the answer to this 6? So, answer to question 1. Answer to question 1 is 6. So, after I teach you, surely before you could attend my next video, you have to practice. Every day practice is a must. Practice is the best mandra you can have for great success. I am not saying ordinary success. Great success. Practice, practice, practice. And there should be consistency in your practice also. Now problem 2. This is how you practice uh, when you work. This is x is tending to 5. x is tending to 5. So this will, be, this will remain as it is. So this is limit x, x tending to 5, minus limit 22 by 7, x tending to 5. So limit x tending, limit x, x tending to 5 is 5. And this will be minus 22 by 7. 5 minus 22 by 7 is the answer. You can't cancel both and write zero. That's not correct. This is correct. This is problem 1 and problem 2. Problem 3. Problem 3. Limit pi r square r tends to 1. Limit pi r square r tends to 1. Pi is a multiple. So if you want, otherwise you can read. You can write it as pi into limit of r square r tends to 1. Now you put r1, it is 1. So it is pi into 1, that will be pi. This is problem number 3. Problem number 4. Limit 4x plus 3 by x minus 2, x is uh, tending to 4. Limit 4x plus 3, this is problem number 4, by x minus 2, x is tending to 4. I will substitute here. <coughs> 4 into 4 plus 3. By 4 minus 2, 16 plus 3, 19 by 2. So, answer to problem number 4 will be 19 by 2. Answer to problem number 4, dear children, will be 19 by 2. Next, problem number 5. Limit problem number 5. Limit. X is tending to minus 1. Not necessary always 0 by 0 form should come. Sometimes answer may come straight. For a few questions we got the answer straight. So substitute minus 1. Minus 1 whole power 10 plus minus 1 whole power 5 plus 1. This is 1. 
minus 1 whole power 5 is minus 1 plus 1 by minus 1 minus 1. Okay. So, you can add a step. You can add a step further by minus 1 minus 1. This is 1 minus 1 plus 1 by minus 2. So, what is the answer for this? Minus half. Answer for this will be minus half. Okay. This is uh, problem number 5. Problem number 6. Problem number 6. Limit. X plus 1 whole power 5 minus 1 by X. X is tending to 0. This is problem number 6. Now I will give you a formula, new formula which I am going to use. The formula is this. Limit x power n minus a power n by x minus a x tending to a this is a formula it's not a problem will be equal to n into a to the power of n minus 1 last video i designed how you got the formula now this is a formula and i am going to use this formula but how sixth problem i am going to do Put x plus 1 is equal to y. When x tends to 0, when x tends to 0, y will tend to 1? What do you mean by that? When x is 0, y will be 1. That is what you mean by saying when x tends to 0, y will be 1. So this problem will change now as limit y power 5 minus 1 by. Now I have a x here. What will I do? I will write this as y tends to 1. And this x I will write as x plus 1 minus 1. So this will get cancelled now. Same as x. Limit. y tends to 1. This is y power 5 minus 1. What is x plus 1? y. And this is minus 1. So what do you have now? That you have this formula x power n minus a power n by x minus a is n into a to the power of n minus 1. So what is n here? 5. What is a here? 1. Actually if you substitute, it will become 0 by 0 form. Substitute here, it becomes 0 by 0 form. What did I say in the previous video? We will have 0 by 0 form. Sometimes we remove it as a problem. Sometimes we have a formula for that. And we apply the formula. I am not explaining how you get this formula and all that. Because already I derived one to show you how the formulas are coming. Okay. I, I did a big derivation. Now this is n is 5. n into a to the power of 5 minus 1. That is just 5. So answer for problem number 6 is 5. Answer for problem number 6 is 5. Next we go for. Next we go for problem number 7. Problem number 7. Limit. X tends to 2. X tends to 2. 3 x squared. That's all. 2 to 3 more problems are there which we will finish it fast. 3 x squared minus 6 minus 10 by x squared minus 4. It's always a must that what form you get, you have to put it in the bracket here. Put 2 here. 3 into 4, 12. Minus 2, minus 10, 0. 4 minus 4, it takes, I don't know, I don't know form. It takes an indeterminate form. What should we do? We should remove the indeterminate form by some approach or other for problem to problem it differs. Sometimes that indeterminate form itself will have a formula like x power n minus a power n by x minus a limit x tends to a or limit sin x by x. Sometimes 
that itself will have a formula. Sometimes it may not. Now let me see what I'm going to do. This is my x. x is tending to 2. This is 3x squared minus 6x plus 6 minus 30. No, this is 30. 3x squared. Now you can factorize this. 3x squared minus 6 minus 10. That will be by x squared minus 4. We have to factorize this so that we will be getting uh, terms which will get cancelled. So this is limit. Limit x tending to 2. 3x squared minus 6x plus 5x minus 10. This is x minus 2 into x plus 2. This is limit. x is tending to 2. Take 3x outside. This is x minus 2. Take plus 5 outside. x minus 2 by x minus 2 into x plus 2. Now this will be limit. x is tending to 2. Take out x minus 2 outside. So this will be now 3x plus 5. By x minus 2 into x plus 2. So this x minus 2 will get cancelled. We get limit. x is tending to 2. 3x plus 5 by x plus 2. Supply the limit now. Supply the limit now. 6. 3 into 2, 6. 6 plus 5, 11. 11 by 2. This is the answer uh, for this question. What was the question now? Uh, problem number 7. Problem number 7, that's the question. And that's the answer. Okay, now I go for problem number 8. Problem number 8 and uh, we have 9 and 10 which will take a minute to work. Now we go for problem number Problem number 8. Problem number 8 says, what does it say? 3x, oh this we did, problem number 7 we did, now we want to go for problem number 8. <laughs> x power 4 minus 81 by 2x square minus 5x minus 3. Okay. Now can you help me? What to do? How to do it? We will see. This is limit. x square whole square minus 9 square. This is x is tending to 3. When I substitute the limit, 81 minus 81, it will become 0. Substitute the limit here. This is 2 into 9. And again, minus 5 here into 3. That also becomes 0. It takes 0 by 0 form. Isn't it? Now we have by 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Okay. So this will become now a square minus b square. a square is x square. So this is limit. x is tending to 3. x square minus 9 into x square plus 9 by this is minus 6. So what it will be 2x square minus 6x plus 6 minus 3. So what is that going to be? Okay, I'll write it here. Limit x is tending to 3. x square minus 9 can be written as x minus 3 into x plus 3 and uh, into x square plus 9. Take out 2x outside. This is x minus 3 plus 1 into x minus 3. We have this. Now what are we going to do next? Next will be I have it here. Next will be limit x is tending to 3. x minus 3, x plus 3. 
into x square plus 9 by take out x minus 3 outside 2x plus 1. x minus 3 and x minus 3 will get cancelled. Okay, so what are we going to have now? Write the balance. This is limit. x tends to 3. x plus 3 into x square plus 9 by 2x plus 1. Obviously, it doesn't take any... 0 by 0 form, it has to end in the next step. Supply limit 3 plus 3, 6 into x square 9, 9 plus 9, 18 by 3, 2 into 3, 6, 6 plus 1, 7. So it is 6 into 18 by 7. What will be this? You can multiply and keep, so you can leave as it is. Okay. Next. You are not 8 by 7. You can leave by that or you can not leave by that. Next we go for Next we go for very easy question, ninth question. Limit AX plus B by CX plus 1 AX time to be doing Come on, come on, come on. Substitute A into 0. 0. 0 plus B, B. C into 0. 0. 0 plus 1, 1. B by 1. That is B. That is question number 9. Question number 9 will be this. Now we go for question number 10. Question number 10. The last question for our video today. Let Z tends to 1. Z to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1 by Z power 6 minus 1. Divide the numerator and denominator by Z minus 1. It takes 0 by 0 form. That is to be counted always. You have to check that always. What form does it take? And you have to write it in the bracket for sure what form it takes. So 1 minus 1 and minus 1. It takes 0 by 0 form. This is a must. Please have very neat steps. So this is limit. Z tends to 1. This is Z power 1 by 3 minus 1 by Z minus 1 by Z power 6 minus 1 by Z minus 1. Now this will be limit of the numerator by limit of the denominator x power n minus a by x minus a. What is the answer for that? n into n into a to the power of a is 1. So that will become 1 only. By this is 6 into 6 into. So what will be this now? It is 2. So answer for this question will be 2. So we have done how many questions now? We have done 10 questions from the exercise and we will continue with our next video questions from the same exercise. Till then you revise. So I have given you in this section, in this section of video, I am talking only about this section. One new formula. The others are problems. The formula is limit of x power n minus a power n by x minus a when x tends to a. What is it? n into n into a to the power of n minus 1. So practice all these uh, formulas and uh, come for my next video. It will be very helpful for you. Till then, good luck.